Good morning, y'all. Um, today is the 1st of May. 1st of the 5th. Uh, 1st of May, and we are reading Proverbs 1. Let's go. Mm, here we go. From 1, Proverbs 1, 1. Hey. Uh, the Proverbs of Solomon, the son of David, king of Israel. To know wisdom and understanding. I'm already getting it wrong. I'm going to reload. Uh, the Proverbs of Solomon, the son of David, king of Israel. To know wisdom and instruction. To perceive the words of understanding. To receive the instruction of wisdom. Sorry. To, to receive the instruction of wisdom, justice, judgment, and equity. To give prudence to the simple. To to the young man knowledge and discretion. A wise man will hear and increase learning. A wise man will hear and increase learning. And a man of understanding will attain wise counsel. To understand a proverb and an enigma. The words of the wise and their riddles. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. But fools despise wisdom. No. See me trying to pop style and look up. You get it wrong. The the fear of the Lord is the beginning. Beginning. <laughs> the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. That is deep. My son, hear the instruction of your father, and do not forsake the law of your mother, for they will be a graceful ornament on your head and chains about your neck. My son, if sinners entice you, do not consent. It's very simple. Don't. Don't do it. Bruh, come. We're going to go judge it. Nah, I'm alright. It's very simple. Don't do it. Um, if they say, come with us, let us lie in wait to shed blood. Let us lurk secretly for the innocent without cause. Let us swallow them alive like Sheol and whole like those who go down to the pit. We shall find all kinds of precious possessions. We shall fill our houses with spoil. <laughs> cast in your lot, <laughs> cast in your lot among us. <laughs> Sorry, because the memory just came to mind. Yeah, when I was young, this is when I was younger. I wish I was reading the proverbs, so I would have did it. But like, so basically, yeah, I won't let over into the dates. But like, maybe some people would have. <laughs> Maybe some people will get at me in my DMs. Um, <laughs> so basically, yeah, must have been at my friend's house. Yeah, it's messing around in his room, innit? Like, in his living room. Yeah, it's messing around. I think it was a basketball or football, one of the two. And then basically, the ball hit the TV and TV just dropped. Poof! Broke his TV. He goes, Vex. He goes, No, no, no. And. and <laughs> So he starts switching, and then basically, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm laughing. It's not even funny. I don't know why I'm laughing. I was just laughing because, wow, like who you were and who you are. It's uh, that's why the Lord is amazing because who you were, oftentimes when you when you meet the Lord and you uh, you follow, you make a decision to to model yourself after His example. Um, that other guy, boy, who was that guy? Who was that girl? Do you know what I mean? Um, so anyway, TV brought that man switching, man's getting best. He's like, you, you have to get me a TV. And uh, <laughs> so, uh, so basically, he's like, you know what? I'm gonna go and rob so and so's yard. And I was a bit awkward because like he didn't really want to do it, um, but I like, peer pressure. Do you know what I mean? He was quite forceful. Um, so we ended up going. Um, I can't remember how we got. I think we. I can't remember how we got in, but I've gone into this yard, and, do you know what I mean, so, um, <laughs> then basically, yeah, I, I can't remember, like, I think we was, you know, we were talking about whatever, we had voices at the front door, it's like, yeah, 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 so we saw them go in there, and then, it's like, oh, shit, oh, no, and, like, they got, I think, police come as well, it's basically, to jump over the gardens and like we knew somebody who lived nearby so like jumped over all the gardens to get into that house and then try and sneak out the front
front. Um, can't remember how that scenario ended. Like, I was very young, very, very young. Um, I think we ended up getting arrested, but I cannot recall. Um, but yeah, that's just what came to my mind when it says, if they say, come with us, let us lie in wait to shed blood, let us lurk secretly for the innocent without cause, let us swallow them alive like Sheol, um, and hold like those who go down to the pit. That's it. We shall find all kinds of precious possessions. We shall fill our houses with the spoil. Um, that came to mind um, from Proverbs one fourteen. Cast in your lot among us. Let us all have one purse. My son, do not walk in the way with them. Keep your foot from their path. For their feet run to evil. And they make haste to shed blood. Surely in vain the net is spread. In the sight of any bird. But they lie in wait for their own blood. They lurk secretly for their own lives. So are the ways of everyone who is greedy for gain. It takes away the life of its owners. It takes away the life of its owners. Wisdom calls aloud outside. She raises her voice in the open squares. She cries out in the chief concourses. At the openings to the gates in the city, she speaks her word. How long, you simple ones, will you love simplicity? How long? How long, you simple ones, will you love simplicity? For scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge. Turn at my rebuke. Surely I will pour out my spirit on you. I will make my words known to you. I will make my words known to you. Because I have called you and refused. I have stretched out my hand and no one regarded. Hold on, let me go back. Because I have called and you refused. Uh -huh. I'm going to go back up to 23. Turn up my rebuke. Surely I will pour out my spirit on you. I will make my words known to you. Because you have called. There we go. That's why I did. I did a you instead of an I. I'm going to go back because I messed that up totally. And I'm not going to edit this out because cannot be asked uh, um, do you know what back to 20 wisdom calls aloud outside she raises her voice in the open squares she cries out in the chief concourses at the beginning of the gates in the city she speaks her words how long you simple ones will you love simplicity for scorners delight in their scorning and fools hate knowledge turn at my rebuke surely I will pour out my spirit on you I will make my words known to you, because I have called you and you refused. I have stretched out my hand and no one regarded, because you disdained all my counsel, and you would have none of my rebuke. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your terror comes. When your terror comes like a storm and your destruction comes like a whirlwind. When distress and anguish come upon you. They will call on me, but I will not answer. They will seek me diligently, but they will not find me, because they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. They would have none of my counsel and despised my every rebuke. Therefore, they shall eat the fruit of their own way and be filled to the full with their own fancies. For the turning away of the simple will slay them. And the complacency of fools will destroy them. But whoever listens to me will dwell safely. And will be secure without fear of evil. Boom. Um, boy, you know, it's just like straight in. Um, yeah, what sticks out? What sticks out to you? Drop a comment below. Whatever. Holler at your boy. Send me an email. Send me a letter. <laughs> There's something wrong with this man. Um, do you know what, my son? If sinners look, it, look, it, it's very simple. If sinners entice you, do not, do not consent. Like say no. Like do not be like that younger, more impressionable me who's like, 
Okay, yeah, you're right. You broke your telly. We should definitely go and steal one back for you. My son, if sinners entice you, do not consent. I think that's really important because, especially in this day and age, um, there's just, like, the youth, or certain youth, anyway, are getting a really bad rap. And I feel like they're there may be a lack of leaders or a lack of sensible leaders. So the people who are leading, uh, you know, they're enticing. They're enticing to sin. Let's go and do this. Let's go and be up that one. Let's go and steal that. Let's go and sell that. And, you know, it's, it, it just do not consent. Um, where was it? Where was it? Was. Like, wisdom calls aloud outside. And I think, you know, what I see there, you know, she raises her voice in the open squares she cries out in the chief concourse it's like oftentimes the wise thing to do is it's not that deep like we know it we, we we've heard that advice but will we will we acknowledge it will we you know will we heed the warnings will we will we listen to the wiser thing or or do or will we just do the thing that um is more gratuitous so you know you know, the thing that makes it come easier, come quicker. Let's just do that, innit? Let's just do that quick, good things. Um, yeah. I'm kind of not really, it's not really direct to one little bit of it. It's just a lot of, you know, like the, I mean, the call to wisdom, that's the bit, I think, the main bit that, um, that really sticks out to me. Will we listen? at the opening of the gate in the city she speaks her words how long you simple ones will you love simplicity so you know and fools hate knowledge I think remember that I think that's that's really one to remember because if somebody knowledgeable is um, advising you why would you not listen why would you not accept it why would you not take that advice uh, and that's a foolish thing to do um, but I think what also I find interesting is because wisdom is referred to in, in Proverbs one, and I believe like in Proverbs as as a woman, um, and and she calls out and she calls out and she and you and you know the fool ignores essentially, and then it gets to that point that okay, you want to ignore, do your thing in it. Because the time is going to come where it's all going to come on top for you, and when it does, don't come and don't come and beg me, because I told you, I warned you, fam. I said if you do that nonsense, that's what's going to happen. So when it happens, it's too late. Um, and I feel like we can all understand that. Like I feel, I feel like we've all kind of said to somebody, look, like stop that in it. Like this is the thing. It's this. Yeah. If it's not like, then that's going to happen. And when that happens, I'm done. I'm done with you. I think we can all kind of understand that and all acknowledge that. And I think wisdom is saying to us, look, I'm speaking to you now. Like, listen to me before it's too late. And I think that's the point as well. I'm not sure if if I'm kind of just imputing my own little vibe to this. I, I hope not to be. But I, I think it's a thing whereby... Like it gets too late to avoid certain consequences. So like, it's like, okay, don't do that. Don't meddle in the crime. It's very unwise. It's foolish, and it's going to do this to your life. Um, I don't think it's saying that once you find the consequences, like you can't get wise. Like, I think it's just saying that you use wisdom now before it's too late, because the time will come where it's too late to utilise what I'm giving you. So it's like, when you come later, I'll, I'll just, what is it? I'll turn from you, is it? Uh, therefore, then they will call on me, but I will not answer. They will seek me diligently, but they will not find me, because they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. They would have none of my counsel and despised my every rebuke. Therefore, they shall eat the fruit of their own way and be filled to the full with their own fancies. 
Yeah. So it's not like I'm going to do this to you. It's like, look, you didn't listen to me. You didn't. And now you've got what you wanted. <laughs> Sorry. A particular young man <laughs> came to mind. <laughs> Sorry, why am I laughing? Bad mind, Darren. Bad mind. Let's just... No, let's not go into, let's not go into that one. <laughs> Woo! Okay, yeah. I think we better do that. Uh, better finish that for today before I say something. It's going to get me into trouble. <sighs> I really, like, this story really speaks to me because it's a beautiful example. But, um, like, people might come for my neck and I don't have to draw for my team. Give me. Did you really say that? Say that, fam. Say that. All right. Um, <laughs> that was Proverbs 1 on the 1st of May. And thank you very much reading the proverbs with me today.